Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Frostbites Gaming Experience. Uh, before we get started, I do want to say that I do have my microphone in a new situation at the moment, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a test. Uh, when I was recording the last part, I was thinking to myself, there's probably got to be a better setup for my microphone than what I currently have. And so I'm trying out a new one. We'll see how this works. And if it sounds a little bit off, I apologize. It'll pretty much only be for this one particular part. So, all right, let's go ahead and get right to it. <laughs> oh my goodness, what can possibly go wrong with this particular run of ours? We got a relatively good team. Um, again, got our whole entire water, grass, fire, starter kind of like ordeal going on with two literal starters, too. So we'll see how this combo plays out. Seems like a pretty good combo to go against here. Uh, we can just go with Surf, and then we can go Surf Rock Slide, go for a double. Uh, do I really want to, though? Because the Rock Slide's not going to be doing too much unless Dawn Fan gets knocked out by the surf in which case it might get a little bit of something um i could also go for the confuse ray onto the hariyama i think we're just gonna go double it up surf rock slide and i don't even know how quick cradle is compared to don fan and hariyama so i might even be able to get a flinch off too if i'm lucky mm. all right not faster than hariyama I doubt I'll be faster than... Yep. Ooh, got hit with the swagger. Did, I mean, getting the attack boost is pretty good. Uh, mostly just depends if I can actually land the rock slide or not. Oh, wow, I actually got it. Nice. Okay, it's not going to be very effective against Dawn Fan. Or Hariyama, but again, I was hoping to at least be faster than one of them so I could try and get a flinch, so it didn't really work out all that much. Um, God, what should I do? Maybe I should just go for like a full defense move at the moment. I was thinking about switching out to Blazekin, but I don't really see a means to do that. Even though Cradilly did get confused along with an attack boost, it's not the worst thing in the world if it hits itself in the face. Oh wow, even perfect! Golem, nice, alright. So not really anything big for a rock slide to hit, but even so. Yeah, again, Cradilly being confused is not the worst thing in the world. Just go for another Surf, and we'll go with the Giga Drain. But I think the Surf should one-shot Golem here. Oh, wow, it didn't. Interesting. Oh, Hariyama's relatively bulky now that I think about it. Hmm. Ooh, I got the Rock Tomb off as well, except for I'm, all rel I'm already slow. So it doesn't really matter if that hits. Ooh, got, got flinched. Doesn't matter, though. Surf will finish it off. So am I the only one that's ever really noticed how this particular Sprite of Feraligator makes it look like it just has... It, it looks like Feraligator's ass cheeks. I know it's supposed to be, like, more of the spikes along its back, but just the way it's angled, I mean, I swear, I'm just looking at Feraligator's butt cheeks this whole entire time. And I can't stop looking because they're so well defined. Like, I wish I had ass cheeks like that. My God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I, I just I couldn't. I, I kept looking, and I'm like I'm like those are literal ass cheeks right there. I'm just staring. And I probably already brought that up before and just don't remember it. All right. Do we want, do we want to swap anything? Oh man, Harry Ama looked pretty good, but I think having a water grass and fire type is probably just the way to go at the moment unless a dragon type like if there's a salamance then i'll go ahead and make a move for that or even like a tauros i'll switch out for alligator for an earthquake tauros you know go back to my tauros cradle combo that i had when i first did this <coughs> that was not a good time for me to take a drink of my coke Oh my god, it's a freaking salamence. <laughs> what? <laughs> How does this keep happening? I'm serious. How does this 
keep happening whenever I play Pokemon Emerald. Uh, it, or even just Pokemon in general. I think there was a couple times in Pokemon Platinum where I would make a statement and then something like immediate to that statement would happen. What the heck? Oh, that is absolutely hilarious. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, um, I think I kind of want to go for a rain dance at the moment just to get stronger surfs. But, I mean, God, is it even going to be that good? Maybe I should go for a roar on the Salamance. The problem with that is obviously the fact that it'll get another Intimidate off. Maybe I should just go for a surf and rock slide. I'm hoping Cradle is going to be faster than... Okay, I am faster than Dusclops, at least. I knew Dusclops wasn't relatively that fast. Wow, still not doing that much, huh? Okay, that's scary. Yeah. Oh boy, this is going to be a bit of a problem now. Oh, jeez, and the Dust Cops has leftovers, too. Perfect. All right, this is going to be really tough. I need to think about how I'm going to go about this, because Rock Slide is going to be pointless for me now. Other than potentially getting a flinch on the Dust Cops. I think I need to go for Confuse Ray. Oh, boy, I could be getting flinched for days! <laughs> oh, goodness. I really gotta hope that I can just get them to beat themselves for me. Okay, paint split, not terrible. Oh boy, this is gonna be a problem. Salamance is just too good. But again, I, I, I just gotta really hope that Salamance just beats itself half to death. Okay, uh, we'll go for another Surf and we'll go for a Confuse around the Dust Clops this time. Perfect. All right, good start. Good start. That's exactly what I need to have happen at the moment. Okay, got another confused ray right off. So I just gotta basically cross my fingers and really hope that this works. Because this Salamance is gonna be really tough to deal with. I'm not too worried about Dust Clops. That was really lucky for me to get a double, get a double hit like that. Next thing is, I gotta really hope that they stay confused for at least the average amount of time. If they're only confused for the minimum amount of time, then I'm in a real bad spot. Um, I guess we can go for the Giga Drain. Dang it. Okay, that's that. That's fine if he uses it on Cradley, because for Alligator Surf is what matters the most at the moment. Oh boy. Dig of the Giga Drain off, that's good. It's not going to be, like, the most effective, but I just need any kind of means to heal myself more. Uh, that's a problem. God, I'm trying to think of, like, what the best strategy to do right now is. I feel like I should just keep on going with what I've been doing. Go for the surf. I almost feel like I should probably go for a confuser on a Salamance in case it does snap out of it, but I think I just need to keep going. Okay, good thing I didn't. I think I just need to keep going for the Giga Drain. That's what I really needed was for it to hit itself again. So now the surf will knock it off. Okay. Good, good, good. We're 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 making we're managing. So all I saw that the Salamance had was head bump. Headbutt and Air Slash. I don't know its other two moves. Huh, that's a problem. Oh, that's really good for me, too. Nice. Alright, that's gonna really help out a lot. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty. Um, I feel like I don't need to go for like a Rain Dance setup against Typhlosion. I should be okay enough. Even if Cradley does get knocked out, I should still be fine. So let's see, we're going to go for another Surf, and we've only got one more Giga Drain, but I still think it might be worth going for it. 
Let's say Typhlosion will go first. That was probably the worst target to hit, but that's fine. Like, I need, I need like the worst target to be hit, you know. So, I don't. Is this gonna be good enough for a one shot? It's not. Okay, that's still fine. Wow, I even managed to get the Giga Drain off through the smoke screen too. The only thing that could happen is a pain split. Snapped out of confusion. Oh wow, Will O Wisp. Did he try and do it on Cradley? Or did it just legit miss for Alligator? Huh, I don't know. Alrighty, well, that's a win. Nice. <laughs> oh man, do I really want to switch out for the Salamance? Like, I feel like I should. See, that's the smoke screen you wanted to hit last time. I feel like I should because Salamance is just that good, but I just don't know what to get give up. Because Surf is such a good move to have. Oh, Typhlosion actually avoided it. I got the Rock Slide off anyways. That sh I was, I was, I was going to say it should be enough, but I forgot that I'm dealing with Burn here. So, yeah. Um, just keep on going for it. Ooh, full Fire Blast. Is that going to be enough? It might be. Ooh, almost was. Dang. Um, oh my god, because, like, for Alligator's really doing work, and Surf is such a good move. I don't know what to get rid of. Maybe I should get rid of Blazekin for Salamance. Because I like this start with... But again, having having Salamance in the front is too good. I think I might get rid of Cradley for it. Just because... My team's not really that built for defense all that much. Losing on a rock, rock slide really hurts, but losing out on barrier, confuse rain, giga drain is not the worst. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because I really like having rain dance to neuter my opponent's um, fire types as well as strengthen my surfs. And just getting... and. If I think about it like this, you know, Cradley is, like, really good defensively. Well, when Salamance comes out and gets a it gets an Intimidate hit on both of my opponent's Pokemon, that's pretty much just as good defensively. So I think that's what we're going to do. I usually try and stick with the same team as much as I can, but Salamance is, like, impossible not to say yes to. Alright, what are we up against? Oh, wow. All right, Snorlax right on. All right. Now I get to see what, what all I got on Salamance. I see to see what a Salamance is holding on to. Now that I think about it as well. All right, Salamance, show me everything. All righty, King's Rock, huh? What did King's Rock do again? I don't remember. Dragon Claw... And all, oh, so we didn't even lose Rock Slide, so even better. All right, yeah, Salamance is definitely, definitely good. All right, but yeah, King's Rock. Why can't I remember what King's Rock does? Isn't that is that the one that it ups the potential of flinching? I think that's what it is. I, I think it's the one that ups the potential of flinching. Is that's the one that you can make a a slow, slow poke into a slow king, right? Or is it from... I don't, I don't even remember. I don't even remember if it goes from slow bro to slow king or from slow poke to slow king. Oh my god. My brain's like... I don't even know. But anyways, yeah. At the end of the day, Salamance was a really good pickup. Uh, for sure. Um, I'll just go for it because... So, Rock Slide. It's not going to be that effective against Rhydon and Snorlax is going to be able to take it like a bit of a champ. But it doesn't matter because with that higher chance of my opponents flinching because of the King's Rock, like, that's all I really need. All right, goodbye, right on. I didn't even expect it to be a one-shot, but I guess right on doesn't have the highest special defenses. Wow, poor Snorlax going for the attract. Okay, um, I don't have any, like, slow burns over time, though, which is, could be a bit of a problem, but I'm not exactly sure. I think I'm going to go for a Rain Dance 
just to make my surfs that much stronger. And we'll keep going for the rock slide. Oh, wow, a double avoid. Wow, that actually sucks. Again, main reason why I usually stay away from doing um, rocks, rock type moves because it's just. You just have such a slower chance of actually hitting. God, that was a lot of damage. But then again, I did not get the Intimidate off on the Fortress, so maybe that's why. All right. So now with the rain falling, we're gonna get a little bit more out of our Surfs. And we're still gonna go for the Rock Slides. Just gotta up the chance of getting flinches whenever we can. Man, Fortress is just really good at dodging everything. And now that Snorlax used a double team, which I don't even know how it can. Whoa, okay. Going for straight up double edges for days, huh? Does it have like a choice band on or something? That's why it's getting so much damage. That's why it's the only move it's using. I don't know. All I do know is that Surf's just going to take care of Fortress on this next turn, really. We'll just keep on going for it. Ooh, I was going to say, that was a crit. Beautiful. And then the Surf, there goes Fortress. Snorlax is not going to be taking too, too much off of it due to its insane high special defense. Shadow Ball's kind of fine. This might knock out Salamance, though. Nope, okay. Alright, so now it's just the leftovers. And high hopes that Snorlax doesn't use too many double teams. Um, just keep going for the Surf. Isn't Aerial Ace the one that hits no matter what? I think it is, and I might go for that. Because then I'm getting the stab and the guarantee hits um, through the double team, and that just might knock out Snorlax. Beautiful. All right. Good. This is a good team so far. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. What do we got next up? No need to swap anything. I think this is almost a near perfect team. I could have picked up Snorlax and like removed for Alligator for it, but I don't know. For Alligators has been doing some work, and all I saw all I saw off of Snorlax was Attract, Shadow Ball, and Double Team, and that was it. So not really the greatest move list. All right, Dugong Gardevoir. Got to be careful with Dugong as Salamence. I might have to do a swap. I mean, I could, I could also use Roar too, to get rid of Dugong. But doesn't Roar have negative priority, so Dugong would get an Ice move off anyways? So I don't think there's any reason to do that. Um. Oh boy, what do I want to do here? I guess we can go for an Aerial Ace. I don't really want to use a Rain Dance because that also helps Dugong. Surf is kind of pointless. The question is, do I go for a rock slide and cross my fingers that I make Dugong flinch? Because even if I switch to Blaziken, I'm in just as much danger. But if I anticipate Salamence getting hit by an ice move, then it is a good swap. I feel like I should. This is a big risk. It also gives me another Intimidate turn if I need to. All right, Dream Eater. Okay, fair enough. I just got to get rid of the Dugong for Salamance's sake. Okay. Wait, I wasn't even going for Salamance anyways. Okay. I don't know, that made no sense, but whatever. All right, uh, another Aerial Ace. Now, again, the big problem is Gardevoir using a Psychic on Blaziken, but my biggest thing is I want to get rid of Dugong, so if I can get a double kick... Nice. So even if Gardevoir does... Okay, I didn't even anyways. I was going to say, because even then, if Gardevoir went out of its way and used Psychic on Blaziken, I knew that I would get Dugong out for Salamence to be able to finish it off. So, not that bad of a deal. Alrighty, um... Go for a Surf, and we'll go for a Double Kick. Boy, this Gardevoir just can't get it done.
Oh, wow, that was a good amount of damage. I wish that this Blaziken had Brick Break instead of Double Kick. This Brick Break is just too good of a move. That should... Okay, I didn't think it would be enough for Kangaskhan, but I figured it would be a little close. Leftovers, Dream Eater, Hypnosis, Gardevoir, huh? Interesting. Uh, let's see, I think the Surf would be enough. So we can go with that and then a Flamethrower onto the Gardevoir. Reflect, that's fine. We're not going for any physical moves at the moment. So this Gardevoir is like a really big, like, stall style. Did you have Gnosis Dream Eater along with Leftovers? That's pretty good. And Reflect. Doesn't have, like, a Psychic, though, or anything to just take out other fighting, poison, whatever. Interesting. Alrighty, um... Let's just finish it up. That was a relatively easy one, only because the Gardevoir just kind of was useless. Like, the entire fight, Gardevoir did not offer anything. So, yeah. That uh, didn't even feel like anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, if that Gardevoir was around before I got the Salamence, I'd probably take it and have a Gardevoir Cradily, and that would be an insane combo. Actually, that'd be massive defensively. Alright, no swap needed. I didn't even read what I was going against, so that could probably come back and bite me in the ass. But sometimes it's fun not to know what you're going against, you know? Like, I don't like that it gives little hints like that. I don't I don't need hints. I just kind of want to just test it against anything randomly. Alrighty, Aerodactyl Nido Queen. This is perfect. Like, very perfect. It's a good double Intimidate, along with two really good victims for Surf. Um, Rock Slide a bit for Aerodactyl, but again, the chance of getting any kind of flinch, which, wow, Aerodactyl's faster than Salamence. Interesting. Oh well. Still gonna get super effectiveness and a chance for Nido Queen to flinch. Ooh, don't paralyze. Oh boy, this is gonna be really bad if it paralyzes me. Of course. I was going to say, if it's going to land a crit, then it's going to land a paralysis. Perfect. Got rid of it. I forgot that for alligator had a lumberry, actually. So, perfect. That was great. Nice. For alligator is actually getting work done. Damn. Yeah, for alligator is my boy. Alright, Electabuzz, huh? Okay, we'll do another Surf, and... Uh, go for a Rock Slide. I was going to say, I should be faster than Electabuzz. So again, just hope to get a flinch. It's the biggest reason for doing it. Oh, nice, and a crit. Ugh, Thunder Wave, yikes. Uh, oh, that might actually knock out for Alligator, because it's Stab. Oh, wow, survive. So I'm actually going to get a Surf off before getting knocked out. That's really lucky. That's, like, insanely lucky. I really thought that would have knocked me out. Huh. Interesting. Alright, for alligators down. That's, that's the first time one of my Pokemon even fainted on this particular run, so that's actually really nuts. Okay, um... Just go for the sunny day, I guess, and Aerial Ace. I think the Flamethrower should be enough just to get the knockout. Perfect. Alright, this is looking like a looking as good of a team as I expected it to be. And again, do I think I could have gone as far if I didn't switch out Cradily for Salamence? I, I kind of think so. I don't know, actually. I feel like Cradily could have been just as strong in some cases. Like, it would have been a lot slower of battles, but I still think that it would have worked. Alright, see so what we got going on here. Alright, Rapdash, Manetric. So, again, 
Rap Dash, another good, another good victim for a Surf and a Rock Slide. And I know Manetrics. I know they're both relatively fast, but I think Salamance is still faster. Well, unless they use Quick Attack, obviously. And then Rapdash should be faster than for Alligator. And it is. Doesn't go for a good move though, so alright, Rapdash, good. Good fight. Good good attempt. Good try, I guess. I don't know. And goodbye. <laughs> Ah, that's actually some good damage on the Manetric, too. Alright, Mistrevious. That's pretty much nothing. So, yeah, we'll just go for the same. Does Flash work on both? Nope, just one. Okay. Oh, Mistrevious took that like a champ. Uh, didn't even care. Oh, got the flinch. Was that the first flinch I got with Rock Slide? No, I think that was the second flinch that I've gotten. Alright. Early surf to finish it up. Perfect. Man, this team is nuts. Like, I'm already going into my final match. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, it hung on. Focus ban. I was like, how did I not kill it? Oh, well, focus ban. That's why. Alright. No, well, no. Okay, whatever. Last match. Let's see if it's any good. So far, this has been quite an easy run. But again, Salamance makes all runs kind of easy. It almost feels like cheating when you get a Salamance on your team. I know it's not invincible. You know, again, when I saw that Dugong, I was like, oh, like, you know, flinch. Oh, my God. But it's ways around it. Another Electabuzz, huh? And a Houndoom. This is once again another good, another good group for me to use Surf and Rock Slide. Like I just feel like this run just lined everything up for me. Unless there's like some kind of random curveball that really hurts, uh, this is going to be just as easy as the rest have been. Like the hardest one was going against Salamance before I got it, and then once I got Salamance, that was it. And it was like, cool, it's over. Uh, <laughs> All right, Will-O-Wisp, sure. That's not the worst thing in the world. Just because I'm just going to Lumberry it. So, it doesn't matter. Wouldn't matter anyways, because I'm just going to be using Surf. And I got the Flinch as well. Holy! This is like... This is like the game just taking everything else that's been a failure so far and just saying, here is the primo ultimate run for you to get back on your feet. And you know what? I'm happy for that. <laughs> Ooh, a Sceptile, huh? Alrighty, um... I think in this case we can actually just go for maybe a double Aerial Ace. I feel like Salamance's Aerial Ace will be enough to get the one shot, so maybe using for Alligator's Aerial Ace was not that important. Didn't matter, got a good crit for a one shot. Only second time that one of my Pokemon's fainted, though, so that's some... Both times it was for Alligator, too, poor guy. But he got work done, so it's fine. That should be a one-shot, I feel. Yep. As expected. And we'll just... Take out Electabuzz. Like it's no one's business. And a flinch. Wait, I didn't even know Dragon Claw could make you flinch. Hmm. I didn't even know that. Alright, well, that, that run was really easy. Almost too easy. I almost feel like I need to do another one. Uh, just because of how easy it was. But I also feel like I just want to do another one. Just because I enjoy doing it so much. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Because we have to call it a part right here, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your evenings. And we will catch you all on the next part.